Ladies and gentlemen, Direct Cell Nation presents Chantel Schultz. Get the latest information on direct sale companies, products, business building strategies, and opportunities. We support the guys and gals next door because we are the guys and gals next door. Join us at directcellnation.com to find and list a business and sign up for our newsletter. And now your host, Chantel Schultz. Our second interview with Miss Alice Klitz, and she's a senior team leader with Mary and Martha. I'm so glad you're here with us again today. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Well, can you tell us a little bit, a little about yourself, and can you give us a brief description of the products that Mary and Martha offers? Okay. Um, my name is Alice. I live in Nebraska, and I am a, a mother with a family of four. I've been married for 29 and a half years, and we have um, three daughters and a son. My daughter's all grown, and my son is 16 and a sophomore in high school. We farm, and we've been involved in the farming our whole life, and I worked in healthcare in the radiology field, doing MRIs the majority of my career. Um, I worked from a hospital to a mobile MRI truck to a, um, an imaging manager at a facility about an hour away. So when this kind of came up, um, I was just doing it on the side, just for something a little bit extra to do, something different. And now I just fill in at the places, um, three different places with the company, and I do this full time now. So I've been with Mary and Martha about three years. The company offers Christian-based um, gifts and home decor items, children's cards, a wide variety of different products. Um, we are um, founded by Dayspring, who partners with Hallmark. Day Spring Cards has partnered with Hallmark for over 40 years. So, excellent. So, a lot of direct sale companies talk about your why or your reason for succeeding with their company. Can you tell us a little bit about your why? My why has changed a lot over the years. When I first joined, my why was mainly just to do a little something on the side. My youngest daughter was going to be graduating, and I kind of thought, you know, maybe it'd be fun to do. Didn't know I was going to do too much with it other than kind of the personal shopping with family and friends. And then as it kind of dominoed, I enjoyed getting with ladies. I enjoyed sponsoring and helping other people get started. Um, I enjoy the teaching aspect, and I kind of enjoy the business aspect of kind of um, keeping things organized together, of being kind of your own boss in a way. That part has been a little bit rewarding for me because I've always worked where what I was doing was helping someone else get better at what they, you know, so they could get the promotion or the advantage. And now it's kind of nice when you are rewarded for your own work and your work own efforts. So a lot of my why is um, helping others, helping other women, helping other young ladies so that they can also have something of their own and it doesn't have to always be a negative daily work type deal. It can be positive, it can be uh, meaningful, fulfilling, and give a lot of personal growth to you also. And plus on my why is also very spiritual because um, it is a Christian company. It's helped me also just to um, be better myself, to be more focused. My relationship with God has improved. My prayer life has improved. It kind of all is, um, kind of comes together, all together, um, when you are doing something that um, is rewarding and that you're passionate about. Right, and something that you can believe in in different levels. Yep. So can you tell us about the business opportunity that Mary and Martha offer and how people can get involved or where they can go to find out more? Okay. Um, the business opportunity, we still are very ground floor because there isn't a lot of Mary and Martha consultants yet. Um, you can go to my website, which is mymaryandmartha.com backslash clips, K-L-I-T-Z, and I can always send you also an opportunity brochure. And in this brochure, it will tell you everything that you need to know about getting started. But Mary and Martha offers two different kits. You can get one kit for $99 and one for $59. So you can kind of enter in at whichever level you feel more comfortable with. Um, each kit has a lot of great products. One, of course, is just a little bit bigger than the other. From this kit, you have everything that you need, the catalogs and things to have your first announcement gathering, to have one of your first parties, and then from there, 
Um, you know, if you, if you have another party booked and stuff, then you'll have these things to show. You can build on this kit then. As you have more parties and you get more um, personal volume, which is also um, equal to your sales, then you can get money towards free products. So you can add items that you like to that kit. So your kit can grow as you start to share and you keep going. When you have $500 in the first 20 days, you get $150 in free product. So that's quite a bit for you to really add to it. Then if you have another 500, this 500 accumulates to the thousand over here in 30 days, you get another $250 in product. So if you get started and you have an announcement gathering, you have a couple gatherings and you get that thousand dollars in both levels of your great starts, you have $400 in products that you can add to that starter kit. If you sponsor, you have, if you meet someone and they're kind of interested, for each person you sponsor during your great start period, you also get another $50. So really can get off to a great start in the beginning by their different promotions that they have. Excellent. So where else can you go if you'd like to find more or find out more? Okay. On the website, it has a lot on there too. It has all of the great starts. It has the kits and things. But from there, you can go to my Facebook page. I have some things on there here and there. But quite honestly, where I would go is to email me and let me know. Call me, email me, and let me know. I will send you a catalog. I can send you this. We can talk on the phone, answer your questions. Sometimes ladies have never been in direct sales, and some of this is very confusing to them because they don't understand how the whole system works. We can sort through that, and I can explain it. If you've been in direct sales before, we can go on, and I can kind of show you a little bit more, which is the career scale and the career plan. But this can be overwhelming at first, but there are many levels you can move up as you progress through the company. And I can um, share all that with you then too. Excellent. Well, I know you were saying that it's kind of a ground floor opportunity. Um, is it only available in the United States at this point? It is only available in the United States, yes. We, we, um, we ship via FedEx. And that is kind of part of the um, reasoning from what I understand that we are only available in the United States. Um, we will grow in time. I'm confident that we will. It's just a matter of time. First, we needed to get sorted through and to get, you have to get organized and get everything working right where it's working before you go too far. But I have had so many people contact me from Canada, from Puerto Rico. I know the need is there and we see that, we know that and, and I'm sure the company will fulfill that in time. So. Well good, I'll be looking forward to that. Can you talk a little bit about the training that takes place once someone does decide to join your company? Okay, the training that we get, we have a lot of different resources from the company that you can um, that you can get from them. There's um, video calls, there's conference calls, there's um, ones you can just listen to on your own. They under our consultant connection, which is like your back office where you log on and you find all of the information. There's a whole section for new consultants that you can go through. It tells you your first ten days, your first twenty days, kind of what you should do. You know. But also then your upline. Um, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls. My team has conference calls. We have times when we get together, we have meetings, and then my upline has a bigger conference call. There's a lot of resources of where you can really learn a lot, but it, I'm always available to help one-on-one -on -one. because sometimes you can listen to a call, but you still don't get that one question you have answered, and that's where um, I'm there for you. Deal. So does your company offer fundraisers, fundraisers or is that like a consultant by consultant basis? That is consultant by consultant basis. We don't have a, a corporate sponsored fundraising program, but most consultants um, donate part of their commission to the fundraiser. That is very rewarding for me. I usually like to have a fundraiser going almost every month. It's just fun to support a lot of different organizations that way. I did one not too long ago where our um, our local parish did one for um, one of our pastors that is in um, Africa, and he is building a mission school there, and we've been supporting it for a while, and I had one this fall for that school. And then one of the most fun ones I just did is we had a sale that was going on, and several other consultants I had heard about were donating penguins to a children's hospital. 
these penguins were $10 on sale, and we had where the people could buy the penguin for $10, and then we would deliver it to the children in the hospital. And me and my team, we donated a lot of these little Gabriels, and on the back he has a little heart that said, God made just one me, and we had um, over 200 penguins that we brought to the hospital. So that was really, really fun. That was a fun delivery to make. So exciting and that is so cute well i kept one i had to buy one for me just as a reminder so it's fun so what has been your biggest hurdle when growing your business and how have you overcome it organizing my time and staying organized i still am always i think it's a battle sometimes um i need to um follow up to organize, you know, when, who your hostess was, were your customers, the system does all that, but just, just a good follow-up, just because it grows and you end up knowing so many people, you need to kind of um, keep it together, you know, who asked me this, you know, who wanted to know when the sale was, who wanted to know when this item came on sale. Um, a lot of just different things, you know, as you're having your gatherings and stuff. So organizing has always been, but I'm kind of an organizer anyway, so it's important for me to stay organized. Um, and if we have systems in place, it's just a matter of utilizing them. Um, but that was something I didn't expect. I, I didn't expect it to be where you have a thousand customers. So um, it makes a difference, you know, when you do to keep track of all that. Um, I've overcome that, you know, just by different programs, trying different things, different ways. Sometimes I'm still just pen and paper in a notebook. Sometimes that's easier for me, even with all of the electronic things. And so. Great. Well, can you tell us about a time that you stepped out of your comfort zone to grow your business, and how did that turn out? Every time I share it is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> Quite honestly, even this video is like out of my comfort zone sometimes, but um, I'm a quiet person. I'm pretty reserved. I, I'm very soft-spoken. People tell me that very freely, and I agree with them totally. Um, God nudging me to do this has been out of my comfort zone. It's like it's very easy for me just to want to say, no, I don't want to. Um, confidence comes with practice. Um, the more gatherings you have, the more you do it, the more you share, the more you talk to people at vendor events, um, you understand the company better, um, you can answer questions when you're um, getting asked them a little bit better. So totally just practice. You just really need to keep, keep sharing it. Trust that God will give you the right words. Trust that what you're doing is what, you're, is what he wants you to do. But um, many times I do feel like I step out of my own comfort zone. And um, if you believe that what you're doing is what God wills you to do, it'll all fall into place. And, I, and it feels like it has for me. So. I completely agree with that. <laughs> so what is the craziest thing you've ever done to grow your business? Or maybe another way to reword that question would be, you know how people say, oh, you should try this, and you're like, no, that'll never work, and then it does? <laughs> has that ever happened to you? It has sometimes, and sometimes people will give me suggestions, but it's like, so not me. It's like, I don't know if I could do that or not. You really have to balance what feels comfortable for you, because if it's truly not comfortable, you might be surprised um, how awkward it is. Do you know what I mean? I, I kind of feel like sometimes you have to balance that. One of the craziest things probably would be um, probably would be um, gosh I'm trying to think off the top of my head I've done two things a little bit one is um, just doing a book to look like having an envelope at a vendor show where people will pick an envelope and then in that item they have a special item to book a gathering. That is not usually something for me. I kind of just visit more one on one. I don't use. I didn't usually promote the party part as a vendor that much, but that really I've had some parties booked through that. So that was kind of something that was interesting for me. Um, and then the other thing is, um, this probably isn't so much an idea, but sometimes you just have little things happen that you just know God puts you in the right place at the right time. And I probably have more stories like that. Um, people. It's not so much an idea that was kind of crazy, but they'll be like, why do you want to attend this craft show or something? And sometimes it's like, I feel like I should, and I don't know why, but it's like, I 
know it's maybe I've never been there, I have no idea, but you get a nudge that you really should go. And one time I was at one and I had a very disheveled young man walk in. He had on a tank top and chains and everyone was kind of watching him because he did not fit the part of lady shopping for crafts. He came in, made a circle, walked up to my table, read the Just Think plaque, bought it and walked out. And all the other vendors were like, what did he buy? You know, because we didn't know what to expect. And I just was like, wow, to be able to witness that. I have no idea who he was, but I pray for him a lot that that brought to his life what he needed because I don't think he had a lot. Do you know what I mean? He just seemed like he was searching. And more so those crazy things like that. It may not have been a suggestion, but you get some thought and you know God gave you that thought. God brought you to that place for a reason. And sometimes I get those crazy things like that in my mind and like, Ah, should I just ignore it or not? And it's like, no, no, go to it. You feel like you should. And I'm always so blessed afterwards. So. <laughs> well, what a wonderful story. So what have been the most effective strategies that you've used to build your business that have worked time and time again? I would say just being consistent, always being consistent. If you have consistent parties booked each month, if you consistently share on your Facebook page, if you consistently um, reach out to maybe you have like 10 people that you've thought about that you thought might be interested or maybe would book a party or different things, um, just to constantly be consistent each month. It is sometimes hard. Sometimes you'll have a month where you have a lot going on and you'll kind of fall off and things. But on a whole, if you're consistent with the business, that's when all of the rewards are consistent. That's when the incentives come into place. Um, you can't think I want to go on the incentive trip and work for two months and then not the other 10. It just doesn't work. If you stay with it and kind of keep it as a business, keep um, keep yourself going. Do you know what I mean? Then I would say that is always what works is it being consistent with it. Great answer. So overall, what would you say are the greatest benefits to being a part of Mary and Martha and also the direct cell community in general? As far as the direct sale community in general, I would say just because you're rewarded personally. When you do something, you have like a personal um, reward for it. Again, when I worked in um, the corporate world, you always were working to benefit someone else. I loved my patients, I loved everything I did, but when I did something good, it made my boss look better and you never really felt rewarded for that. I think that happens to women a lot in the corporate world. In direct sales and in any time you have a home business or you have a business of your own, what you put into it, you get out of it and you're going to be rewarded for it from that. Um, with Mary and Martha, I think just the continuity and the genuine and the honorable of the company because they're just so Christ-centered, they're so genuine, um, they're, they pray for us, they are there to support us. Um, it's just hard to really believe that the, they're the family that they can be. I know people will say that, but it's just amazing when you all get together. Um, a lot of direct sales will have a company where all of them are one personality or another. Sometimes we are such a mixture of everything. We once had a, a, um, a little activity we did where we broke up into different personalities according to different questions you had and we were divided all equally into four. It was just amazing, and um, we really are a mixture of a lot of different people, but the support and the sisterhood among us is really amazing. Um, on our leader page, we're constantly giving each other ideas and helping each other through things. Um, we're not on the same teams. That doesn't matter to us. We just all want to see each other prosper. That is one of the biggest things with Mary and Martha that I think most people are really amazed with. And on the other part with Mary and Martha, I think that's the most um, rewarding is just because you are sharing God's love with it. You get a lot of um, personal and spiritual growth with it also that you may not necessarily expect it along the way. Wow. So what would you say to someone who's considering joining a direct sales company but hasn't taken the plunge yet? To pray about it. <laughs> think about it. I mean, if it's something you know you want to use, you know you like, you would put in your home, you want to give us gifts, you would not be embarrassed, you would not feel um, like it's not comfortable for you to share it, 
and that you're passionate about, then it's a good fit. So I think that is a good fit. Um, if it's something that you aren't passionate about, you're probably not, I don't think, going to always do very well in it. If you're not a person who doesn't like to clean, you may not like Norwex. If you really don't wear a lot of makeup, Mary Kay may not be for you necessarily. You have to find something that's in your heart you're passionate about. Every company is awesome for the right person. And it's just a matter of finding that fit. It's the same thing with the job and when someone graduates from high school when they're trying to figure out what career to do. You just have to sort through what you think is a good fit for you. And so a lot of it's just prayer and following your heart. <laughs> I completely agree. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> so what would be your favorite business book or business resource that you would recommend to other direct sellers to look into? Oh, I am not a big reader. So that is a little bit hard. But I know John Maxwell has a lot of awesome books about teamwork, about um organizations about um, business he has a lot of wonderful quotes I always like I think his is very 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 good um, there's a lot of groups on Facebook um, a lot of different ones that help teach you different social media teach you a lot of different um, you know avenues that way also there's a lot of um, mentors out there but um, I have a calendar of John Maxwell, and I really like his. I would say his is probably really a good one to fall on. So. Great. So is there anything else that you'd like to say about your company or the business opportunity or building your business or any advice you'd like to give before you write that? Um, the only thing I do want to just to kind of, I think I said it before, is, but we do have a lot of different things I talked about with the um, education that they offer. We have the incentive trips, but then we also have the um, opportunity to earn a mission trip. And this is me and Asuri from when I met her in the Dominican Republic. I never had been on a mission trip and again, totally out of my comfort zone. That is nothing I ever wanted to do. I've had my children go, my husband go, I've helped them pack and out the door. But for me, it was like nothing I dreamed of. But when I earned that trip, I knew there was a reason I earned it. And it was very moving. It was really a wonderful trip. And I got to meet my sponsor child, Asuri. And for a company to have something like a mission trip as an incentive is really kind of cool. A lot of times you don't have that. Mostly it's kind of not, I don't want to say a selfish thing, but you know, it's fun. You get to do a vacation and something like that. And it may not necessarily be fun, but it's rewarding. And so that is kind of a neat thing with Mary and Martha. Um, I think that's about it. I think we kind of covered really pretty much everything else. So, so, and if anyone ever has questions, I'm always happy to help answer them more on a one-on-one -on -one basis too. So, awesome. Well, can you go ahead and remind people how they can get in touch with you and where else they can find you? Okay. Um, you can. My website is mymaryandmartha.com backslash clits. My email is blessings with an S by Alice at gmail.com. My phone number is 402-380-3303. My Facebook page is Alice Clitz dash Mary and Martha Independent Consultant. And those are probably the best ways from there you'll get a hold of me. And on my Facebook page, I always have all my contact information and things. So, so yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. I've really enjoyed talking with you and getting to know more about Mary and Martha today and yesterday. Thank you, Chantel. I enjoyed it too, and I learned how to Skype. So, <laughs> Yay! I know, it was a challenge at first, but we got through it. <laughs> oh, yes, we sure did. Well, we'll be talking to you soon. That sounds fine. Thank you, everyone. Have a good afternoon. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to meeting you at directcellnation.com, where we support the guys and gals next door. Be sure to tune in next time for more great information from Direct Cell Nation and Chantel Schultz. Please be aware that these interviews are conducted with independent representatives and are not official spokespersons for their respective companies. For more information about a specific company, please visit their website.